Hi guys. Um, we are going to sketch a wolf. The howling wolf head. Okay. And in this drawing, I'm going to show you again how we use basic shapes to create our final drawing. And when you look at something, I want you to start practicing this. When you look at something that you think about drawing, or even if you don't want to draw it, when you look at things out there in life, it you know, doesn't matter if it's food or a person or furniture, animals, all kinds of things like that. Try to pick out the basic shapes that make up that thing that you're looking at, okay? So our wolf, we're going to turn our page vertically like this, also called portrait orientation, okay? So the long side is on the outside edges of your paper here, the short side is up here. So portrait orientation, because we're kind of doing a portrait of a wolf. And our main wolf's head, let's start, it's a pretty decent sized circle. The circle is about the size of a tennis ball in the middle of our paper. You can kind of put your fist in the middle of the paper. That's going to be right around that same size. Okay. Notice again, holding the pencil way back here. I'm not pressing down hard. Okay. Just getting that basic circle shape. Then I'm doing a basic triangle or cone shape. I'm going to draw me an ice cream cone. And I'm going to draw a smaller ice cream cone. Two lines, two lines. You can already see where this is going. That's the wolf's skull. That's the snout. That's the bottom jaw, right? Back here on the back part of the head, I'm going to make myself another kind of a ice cream cone shape, triangle shape, and kind of mimic. You guys know what mimic means. It means like copy. That line behind there, that's his outside ear, okay? So the skull part is going to come in front of that ear, because that ear is behind. This ear is in the foreground, okay? The rest of this is just the wolf's neck coming down there and the back of his head and the neck coming down there. I know it's hard to see on the screen because it's super light, but this we will I'll sketch it a little bit darker. Okay. This part comes down here. He's super fuzzy furry, okay? This comes up more like this, and it's a line that kind of curves in a little bit, but then you've also got all that wolf fur, just furry, furry, right? And we're just on the head and neck, so there's no need to stress out about it. We're going to draw piece by piece, okay? The top of the wolf's head is relatively flat, so it's not really a rounded skull there. So let's flatten that out just a little bit and bring the forehead area down a little. Then there's a little bit of a curved line there that's going to mark where his eyebrow is and then kind of continue that on down the curve slightly just a little bit of a curve to that is going to 
bring you down your ice cream cone shape and then little tiny bit of curve down here you notice that we were coming along and then we went just slightly down right there okay then we're gonna round off the nose part a little bit pointy okay and let's make that let's make that nostril while we're there and a little kind of line coming around like a little curly cue like that and then the top of the nose is kind of a an L little little miniature L drawn right there see the letter L Oop, like that then we've got the top jaw like this curve 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 in toward the head and curve back down so we came down curve toward the head curve back down and come back out because now we're going to start on our little journey over here to the top of the bottom jaw area and then this has a definite curved line like that so you see we're not going along exactly where we drew our ice cream cones that was just to get us in the general area that we want it to be to draw our final shapes okay so we got our chin it comes in a little bit and then there's a little bit of a just a little kind of bump there not not big and then that's where the fur starts coming down and you got lots and lots of zigzag kind of lines making your fur but we're not going to concentrate on the fur until that's last that's a minimal detail okay you've got to get your if you get your face shape right then everything else will follow in behind okay so let's draw a little triangle here that one tooth sticking up and then a smaller one right behind that gives us that other bottom tooth and I think I want my jaw to come out just a little bit more here and this is all going to be black anyway the darker part of the drawing okay so then let's work on our eyeball if you draw a super light line straight back from the top of the that corner of that nose right there it should line up almost with the with the bottom line of this the ear there okay the ear you got a little upside down kind of Y shape if you want to draw that in make it come up and just a little bit of a curve at the end backwards J kind of thing going on and remember our eyebrow that we did right underneath that eyebrow is where our wolf's eye is going to be okay so let's draw a half of an arrow so you see I want to draw a super light line here too that's the edge of the eyebrow okay that bottom part where that line ends if you draw a little light super light line coming straight down from that and your super light line going from the ear to the nose that's where you're gonna put your line for your eye it's like a half an arrow the arrows not the arrow just doesn't have that other line on the point right and then we're going to draw a curved line there at the top of that.
and then a curved line there and we're going to leave that like that for the time being we're going to go up here and focus on the rest of our our ear and stuff skull line comes back there's a zigzag line there at the top because that's fur right and there's fur zigzag line okay let's go back to our ear you've got that little Y shape sideways Y goes back curves around and then it does something really interesting there's like a little bit of a straight line there then a little bit of a straight line like that and then it starts curving back in and you've got another little like curved kind of a line okay and then back to mimicking we're going to mimic that same kind of thing that same kind of line and then let's do the inside part this line follows along it's wider here leave more space here between these two lines but then make it go up 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 closer 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 to the tip of that ear and back around you can kind of fade that down into that it's not super important that you have that right now but you got a bunch of little zigzags in there that's fur as you can see drawing fur is pretty important okay we've got some zigzag lines here for fur you can draw them like this if you want to or from the top down or from the bottom up however you want to do that and same thing on this side there's still there's some fur here zigzag lines kind of pointing up and then you got this kind of a dark triangle area that's the hole there's a little hole where he's hearing from doing most of his hearing all right zigzag lines coming down here that round tennis ball shape you drew to begin with that can kind of be your guideline to draw your zigzags here and then right about where this line comes down that you can kind of start a little zigzag shape there that makes a point don't come too far down past your original tennis ball shape okay and then that's where we're going to continue this from the curve of his eye right there we're gonna make a little like a dotted or dashed more like dashed line that curves around and meets that point there okay another little detail we can add right now since we're on the face area is the inside of the mouth if we just draw a curved line there and darken that in a little bit makes your mouth look a lot more 3d doesn't it okay so then let's do our other curve here at the back of the eyeball that gets darkened in this gets darkened in so the eyeball looks almost like it's kind of 
glowing with light behind it. At this point, normally I don't erase my reference lines and stuff until the end, but at this point, I recommend just erasing some of your ice cream cone lines and your tennis ball line. This line here, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all this stuff here around his mouth. Some of this stuff, that tennis ball line there. Okay, get rid of this stuff around the eyeball because it can kind of distract you sometimes when you're trying to draw something. You don't want too many reference lines clogging up the whole drawing. Okay, simplifying it you can make it look a lot better almost immediately just by getting rid of some of those crazy lines you had to draw in the beginning to get things where you wanted them to be. Okay. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make some of this fur stick out like a lot more just random kind of zigzag shapes. This always looks good if you do a curved kind of line like that. Just try to try to keep seeing this wolf and the wolf's fur in your imagination. If you get a good vision of it in your head that kind of that kind of goes a long way and helps for you to imagine stuff okay we can always make this little line here now he looks even more like he's howling We've got some dash lines there this you can put some fur lines here, little dashes, little, you know, little furry things. It's usually a couple little lines in here. And one important thing you can do is kind of make a curved little dashes, little tiny dashes, and then kind of like little tiny dashes like that that mark the ridge of, you know, the ridge of his nose. This can kind of be furry kind of lines going back in here. Don't be afraid to add your own little lines for fur and make things a little bit darker. You can make this a little bit more pronounced here. I can make the like little fur, little tiny, tiny hairs coming off the chin. A little bit of fur there. Okay. I can even make the nose a little bit more it if I want to darken it in just a little tiny bit okay make more fur here zigzag random scribblies we're doing scribblies okay it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect down here Scribblies. Scribble in that fur wherever you think it might be a good place to add some zigzag kind of lines like this. Just do it. If you draw light enough, you can always erase it if you think it doesn't look right. See? 
just keep going with it and, and try stuff. I can make this, even make this line up here, have little tiny lines coming off of it. Because he's furry. He's a wolf. He's furry. Okay? Or she. Might be a she-wolf. You never know. It's, it's yours, so make it however you want. They also have, don't forget, whiskers up here. Usually they're in a line, so if you want to really concentrate and do this kind of thing and kind of make them go in lines, totally up to you. Might look a lot better if you do it that way. Okay? Just don't get too crazy with it. A little bit of fur here. Why not? Fur, fur, fur. You can add top teeth if you want. Um, usually when they're howling, they're making that face to where their their teeth aren't sticking out. Their bottom teeth stick out because their mouth is wide open, but their top jaw part is usually kind of covering their teeth. Okay? A little bit more fur. A little bit more fur. Fur, furry fur. Another little zigzags kind of like this. Right? Zigzags. And they don't have to be covering the entire space here. Leaving negative space. Negative space. Negative space. That, I don't want so much negative space there. Um, that can add to your drawing just as much, sometimes even more, than filling that space in and putting something in there. Let the, let the viewer's imagination fill in some of your stuff, okay? You don't have to be, uh, you don't have to draw every single hair, every single little thing. Make this a little bit more, a little more furry here. See? And just, just step back from your drawing every once in a while, maybe, and I mean literally, like, pick up your drawing and hold it way away from you and back up you know sometimes hold it right up in your face and look look at all your little lines and things can you add something would it help if you took something away would it make it better if you had something you know made something a little bit darker Just think about things like that. If you give up too early, you're like, ah, oh, come on, it's not a wolf, it's a possum. How can you turn it into a wolf? Or maybe you want to turn it into a possum. It's completely up to you. Don't let somebody tell you that it doesn't look right. Just keep practicing, keep drawing and, uh, Keep looking at your work and save your work. And it helps. Here's another professional artist tip. Um, it helps if you save your work and put a date on it. Okay? If I put a date on it, I put, you know, that today's 828. Always put the year also. Okay? Put your name on it so nobody else can claim it. All right. Save these in a notebook, a portfolio, a box, a file folder, whatever you can find. Save your drawings and keep practicing, 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 and keep adding those drawings to that folder. And guess what? You go back in 2025, just six years from now. You'll be amazed at what you've got as far as the things you've drawn and how much you've improved, okay? That's always great for an artist to do, is to keep track of their progress and see what you've accomplished, okay? Thank you guys for drawing along with me. Have a great day.